When you buy a Rexing dash cam, the camera should be ready to go right out of the box. You may want to update to the latest firmware if you're experiencing issues with your device. To do this, you're going to need three things, you will need a Rexing dash cam, a micro SD card, and a computer with internet access. Before that, you will need to be inside the vehicle powering the camera with the provided cigarette charger or hardware kit. Now let's insert the micro SD card into your Rexing dash cam, the first thing you're going to want to do is format the micro SD card. Doing this will clear all the files off the card, so make sure you back up any important files beforehand. Now let's format the memory card using the dash cam. Press the menu button twice to enter the system settings. Press the down buttons and toggle to format micro SD card. Then press the OK button, and you'll be asked to confirm your choice. Once the message clears, you're done formatting and you'll be back in the setup menu. While you're here, you'll also want to find the firmware version setting. Once selected, you will see your camera's current version information. This is the firmware currently installed on your camera. Make sure to write down your version information. Once you've done this, remove the memory card from the dash cam. Now we're going to use a micro SD card with our computer. We'll need to visit the Rexing website. Once there you can find the firmware download tool through the support menu. Select your camera from the drop down the firmware tool, find the latest firmware available for your camera. If you're using a Rexing V5, you will be asked for your current version information which you should have written down before. Once you write out your version info, hit the download button. Your browser should download a zip folder. After the file downloads to your computer, your firmware file will be within this zip folder. Unzip the file. Now copy the firmware files over to your micro SD card. If your download contains image files, make sure to copy those over as well. Once you've copied the firmware over, you can safely remove the card from your computer. Now let's install the firmware. With the dash cam powered off, you can now insert your micro SD card back into the camera. Once it's secured, connect the power cable. Once connected, the screen appears updated for installing the latest firmware at this point. The screen will shut down when the update is done. Now there's only one more thing to do. Remove the memory card and power on the unit. After power on, insert the memory card and we're going to need to format the card one more time. It's very important that you do this step as it'll clear the firmware file off of the memory card. If you don't format the card at this point, your camera will keep reinstalling the firmware each time it's powered on until you do. After that's completed, you should check your camera's version information with the version setting, to verify that you're on the latest firmware. If everything looks good to go, you can now power down the camera by holding the power button. Rexing Dash Cam engineered for quality and designed for reliability.